Okay, so what, what are the big differences between the average driving range golfer and the, the players that you see out on the, the different tours around the world is that the driving range golfer has a fast body speed but a slow club speed. The good players do the opposite. They've got a slow body motion but they have a fast club speed. And the main reason for that is that they've got a spine that perfectly rotates throughout the swing, whereas the average golfer does the opposite, the spine bobbles about the place, so they haven't got the axis around which to generate that centrifugal force. If you've got a spine that just rotates, you can end up with that fast body speed, oh, sorry, fast club speed and slow body speed. So the only way we can get from the top of the swing through to the finish of the swing and maintain that axis is to have a good pivot motion of the weight transference. There's three main things happen from the, the top. We've got our left hip turns and rotates around to the left. The right knee folds in so that the thighs are touching and the right foot flips up onto the toe. So if done correctly with that pivot, our spine can just rotate. However, most of the golfers have a, a either a pivot motion where they, or they don't have a pivot motion, the weight stays on the back foot. When you do that, the spine bobbles about, or they'll attempt to do the pivot, um, but they won't do it effectively, and again, the spine bobbles about. So a good little exercise to get a feel for the right type of pivot is to just get your grip organized. And just bend the elbows so that both elbows are touching your stomach. Hinge the wrist a little so that the shaft of the club is just parallel to your spine and it's in a line with your spine. Now, do the pivot to your left in a way that the club can come around to your left, around in a line with your left hip. So I've gotten to this position not by heaving my shoulders around. I've gotten to this spot by turning the hips, allowing the right knee to fold in, and allowing that right foot to flip up onto the toe. So if done correctly, I'll end up in a spot where I'm fully facing my target, the shaft of the club's around to the left of my left hip, and you'll notice that it's still on the same angle as my spine. I haven't thrown the club all over the place. So this is a good one just to do at home. Don't have to hit balls or anything. We can just do that little pivot. The shaft of the club just smoothly rotates around to the left. Great way to get a feel for that pivot motion.